Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So we have a lot to speak today. Bitcoin currently could have this uh, push towards $18,200 that I was waiting here since we reached here the bottom of around $16,200. So let's analyze all the time frames and let's see what could be the target here and what are the scenarios that I think are going to play out if we're gonna reach here this price level. But before we start with the content, my friends, a little reminder that some of the Black Friday deals are still going on during the weekend. For example, here the Ledger discount that we have currently 40% off on hardware wallets. So definitely go and take one if you don't have already one. And also all these special bonus that is going on over on Bybit and Femex are running till the end of December. So if you want to trade Bitcoin and other assets, definitely make sure to use my referral links down below here to claim this free bonus and also this extra deposit bonus up to 500 and on Femex $600. And also my own indicator that you can get over on Discord, I have a 50% off discount. So if you want to get into this live stream where you can see good buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then definitely join me over on Discord and also contact me for the indicator and of course although we still have these uh, normal deals that are going on over on Swissborg and Coinbase where you can get some free cryptos if you use my invitation links down below here also here for Binance definitely make sure that you open up an account also there if you want to buy some altcoins because we are seeing also some of the altcoins again in green here so here also definitely you can do some nice swing trades all right, my friends, and now let's start here in the one hour time frame, because as you can see right now, we are starting to close one hour candles above the 20 and 50 moving average. And therefore now I'm expecting continuation here towards the 100 and 200 moving average right at $18,200. And this is, I think, where we potentially could see here a pump and we could face here some resistance. So watch out for this possible pump and also the reaction, what is going on here, because if we're gonna get rejected here if we're gonna confirm this price level now as a new resistance be prepared to see continuation to the downside and therefore let's go over into the four hour because here you can clearly see that Bitcoin is still in an uptrend even here in the four hour we are now trading below the 20 moving average right at $17,500 this is where I'm expecting some initial resistance on the way up here towards this $18,200 target the problem is that as long as we're trading and closing four hour candles below the 20 moving average we could be in a potential downtrend if we are starting to get rejected here and also starting to lose here the 200 moving average as a support. It's right now at $15,800, my friend. So keep an eye on this price level. If we're gonna start to close four hour candles below 15,800, we could be in a massive dump here if we're gonna lose here the 200 moving average in the four hour. We had here a buy signal in my own indicator after bottoming out here at $16,200. And also out of this wedge that we are creating here in the last couple of hours, you can see that right now we are breaking out to the upside and therefore I'm expecting here at least a continuation towards the 20 moving average at 17,500 potentially even go towards the new potential resistance up here at $18,200. I think this is a good price level if you want to take out some profits in order to be ready to buy cheaper Bitcoin if we're gonna see a massive dump below $15,800. But be aware that Bitcoin is still looking very bullish for the long term and also be very careful taking profits already now because we are right at the beginning beginning of a big bull run in the Bitcoin price and that's why be very careful don't take everything out if you want to take out a little bit of cash just to be ready for the bearish scenario then I think $18,000 is a good take profits uh, price level and also in the RSI we are still trading below the 50 level so we're gonna have to see what will happen once we're gonna reach here the 50 level if we're gonna get rejected there then maybe we will not see $18,200 but already getting rejected here at around $17,500 this is what we're gonna have to see during 
the weekend and if we go over into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we're trading on the bearish side and also here the $7,500 level right the middle line of the Bollinger Band could be acting as a resistance only if we are able to close four hour candles above $17,500 I'm expecting a possible push here towards $18,200 maybe even up here towards $19,000 to reach the top of the Bollinger Band but this is what we're gonna have to see once we are breaking here $17,500 because we also have all the indicators currently still shifting to the downside like the MACD and KST but we could have very soon a bullish cross. The only problem is that the stochastic is already in overbought condition so right now my friends we are facing some volatility in my opinion so be ready to trade this volatility if you want to take some nice gains with you so i think that the next step potentially is going to be to the upside before maybe continuation to the downside which i'm expecting could happen in the next coming week and now let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we are still closing candles right at the 20 daily moving average every dip below this moving average was so far bought up immediately by the bull so that of course is a good sign but you can see it on my own indicator that the money flow is definitely shifted to the downside so the money is coming out of bitcoin and that's why i think it is still very likely that we're gonna see one last big dump here towards potentially here this 50 thousand dollar level our previous resistance which now should be turning into new support and if we're gonna drop below 15,000 then I'm expecting a complete retracement back down here between twelve thousand eight hundred dollar potentially even towards eleven thousand eight hundred dollar so this is the worst case scenario in my opinion if we're gonna see here a big dump incoming but I'm pretty confident that we will test here this $15,000 and there is where we're gonna see if Bitcoin successfully could bounce from this new support or if we're gonna fall below that. But I don't think that we will go lower than $12,000 ever again because Bitcoin is still looking very bullish in the long term but this correction was very much expected and that's why I think we didn't see yet the big dump. So what we have seen right now maybe is just the beginning. Also you can see the RSI currently is bouncing from the 50 level which is of course very bullish so in theory we should expect from here on a big bounce to the upside but since we were now very overbought and overextended I think a correction could be bigger than this what we have seen right now and that's why I'm also preparing here a little bit of cash just in order to buy back in again at 15,000 and even if we would drop below then here at around 12,000 dollar and now we can go over into the weekly because here again you can see that currently we have the first time a red weekly close if we're gonna close below $18,400 and this is what I'm expecting to happen and you can see it also in the RSI and in my own indicator that we were very overbought and this correction was about to come and Bitcoin usually likes to go down towards the 20 weekly moving average currently here at $12,400 also during a bull run so in my opinion if we're gonna see a mess correction then this is the perfect buy opportunity for you to buy cheap Bitcoin and accumulate as much as possible for the next big parabolic run which will definitely come here in the next couple of weeks and months so if you're all in in Bitcoin right now and have no cash on the sideline then maybe take a little bit of profits out with this possible next little move that we could have towards $18,000 just to be ready if we're gonna see a massive dump towards this region down here so at least you can buy even more Bitcoin at cheaper prices but if you just want to buy and hodl at least for the next one two years then just keep your Bitcoin and just buy more if we're gonna see a massive dump here towards the 20 weekly moving average which of course could happen here with this correction that is going on right now so in the short term I'm expecting a possible little pump mid term I'm expecting a bigger correction and long term of course I'm very bullish I think Bitcoin will break this 20k pretty soon and therefore you should try to accumulate as much Bitcoins as possible with every dip that we're gonna see during this bull run that just started so here in the bigger time frames you can see that we're still trading above all the important moving averages even here in the daily even if we would fall towards the 200 daily moving average or even below as long as we are keeping up all the moving averages and the daily closes above this important 200 daily moving average everything is still good to go to the upside and you should consider to buy every correction and every dip 
So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Let me know down below here in the comment section if you are taking this little trade here towards $18,000 and what you will do if we're gonna reach this area up here. Are you taking some profits out or are you just hodling till the next parabolic blow off top that Bitcoin could have potentially towards the end of 2021 or 2020? Too. So if you like the content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.